What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're gonna be talking about networking for designers. It's a super important topic and everybody should be networking in some way, shape, or form. In today's video, I'm gonna cover where you should be networking, both offline and online, how you do it, and a few tips and tricks to help you along the way. Let's get started. Here's some of my favorite ways to network. Some of them are local, some of them are online, but there's something out there for everybody. So if you're not comfortable with one thing, maybe another one will be good for you. But the first on the list is local meetups. I love going to local meetups. I love looking and finding what's happening in my area. There's a great connection that happens when I know that people right around me are doing similar work or they like to frequent similar places or they're inspired by these kind of things. It's cool, you find friends really, really easily there. You find people who are doing work that might wanna work on projects with you at local meetups. These are fun things to get you out of the house, out of your comfort zone and meet some interesting people. If you're trying to figure out where to find such a thing in your community, you can look at online sites like meetup.com or Eventbrite. Uh, some of my favorites are actually the built-in uh, websites like Built in Austin, Built in San Francisco, Built in New York, so you can check those, as well as your local AIG community. I'll put all the links to these down in the description, but just even do a Google search. The name of your city, design meetup, tech meetup, development meetup, you know, hackathon, whatever it is, and see if you can find something that would interest you. One recommendation I have for you in stepping out of your comfort zone is that when you look for meetups, you may not find something that directly suits you, but you'd be surprised how much fun you'd have when you go to such a place. Like for instance, you might be a UI designer and there might be something for front-end developers and you might say, well, that's not for me. But you and I know that those fields are closely related and if you're looking for possible job opportunities or, you know, like networking for those reasons, it or maybe even just to learn a little bit of empathy about front-end development could be a cool place. Next on the list is conferences. Conferences are great because they're like the local meetup scene times 100. They're immersive, they're intensive, a lot of times there's workshops, there's lots of people that go. So you just have, you're casting a net over a broader kind of like spectrum of people and topics and experience levels and that can be a really, really cool experience. You might hear some really great talks, you know, sit in some really awesome workshops that challenge your current workflows and all that kind of good stuff. There are really, really big conferences like South by Southwest or Adobe Max or some of those other ones. But if that intimidates you, there's smaller conferences of just a few hundred people. I think conferences are a fantastic way to network. Check the ones out in your area or maybe feel like traveling one, be adventurous. All right, third up on the list of places to network is gonna be online communities, specifically online design communities like Dribbble or Behance or specific Slack kind of communities that have all sorts of people in them and channels and things to talk about. Um, the reason online communities are great is because they're convenient. Uh, we all have access to the web and you don't have to buy a ticket or drive downtown or go somewhere to a meetup or to a conference. You can just do it right from the comfort of your office or from your home. So design communities are great. Um, what they're great at is posting work, getting feedback, also, you know, meeting other people, getting inspired by other people's work. What they cannot be so great at is they allow you to be voyeurs of other people versus entering into the actual networking aspect of them. And so the people who are really benefiting from design communities online are the ones who are intentionally entering into relationship, community, friendship, and conversations on those platforms. Enter those spaces and engage with people. That's what it's all about, engagement. If you step out there and say hello, you might get an empty room every once in a while, but a lot of times people are pretty rad in design communities and they'll say hello back and you can kind of start that dialogue. So design communities are a great place. The last place that's really interesting to network and beneficial is on social media, but specifically in the direct messages of social media. Social media is a noisy place. There's a lot of people saying things and doing things and posting things. And so it can start to feel a little bit like white noise, but where it gets actually beneficial is inside of those direct messages with people that you are interested in talking to, people you're inspired by, people you think maybe could help you and you could help them. We all know there's design Twitter, there's design Instagram, there's all of those things. So um, spend some time and engage people inside the direct messages. I've actually made a couple really great friends 
um, just because I or they have entered into direct messages. And now we are, you know, like pretty great online friends. We see each other weekly or monthly. We do like video chats and just hang out. And that's a cool thing. Like that can be beneficial in all the ways that have been listed before. So direct messages in social media is a great place if you wanna kinda of jump into those one-on-ones with people that inspire you or encourage you or that you think are just cool. Well, that's it. Those are some helpful tips and tricks about networking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and check the description for some helpful links that I mentioned in the video. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. And I hope you're stepping outside of your comfort zone and networking a little bit. I'll see you in the next one.